Fandale here. This video is going to be the vinyl portion of what I picked up at the Great Escape 50 Cent sale. But guess what? The vinyl wasn't 50 cents. The vinyl was 25 cents a piece. Or you got five for a dollar. Or you got uh, a box for uh, five dollars. How many albums did I get in a box? I got 67 records. That's less than 10 cents a piece. That also means I got 67 records and we need to get busy. And uh, so I'm going to try to go through this fairly quickly. So this isn't an hour long video. Man, let's get into it. First up, Dennis Day sings Christmas is for the family. And looking at this. Wow, look at look at his face. He just doesn't look too happy playing his fiddle on Christmas, but the family looks happy. <laughs> I just couldn't pass that cover up. I don't know anything about Dennis Day, but yeah. Christmas time in Carol and Song. Uh wow, what a name. Leontine Price with Arthur Fiedler, Steve Lawrence, Edie Gourmet. This looks like a good time. Uh, it folds out. We got seam split, but that's okay. It's on RCA. The album does look pretty good. Looks like a fun Christmas record. And then, of course, we have Jim Neighbor's Christmas album. And this album is also on Columbia. Check out that label. Pretty cool. The next group of album are kind of gospel in nature. So first I picked up favorites. Uh, favorite hymns from Chapel in the Hills. Uh, we got, there's a couple folks on the back. And they are uh, Harris Torgerson, uh, soloist and... Verley Torgerson, organist. Uh, the next two albums are by George Beverly Shea. We've got The Best of George Beverly Shea, Volume 2. Uh, I'm more excited about this one. This is George Beverly Shea uh, with the Blackwood Brothers Quartet. And um, that looks like a, a good gospel album. We've also got uh, Sandy Patty, More Than Wonderful. And of course, there she is on the back with Larnell Harris, who's from my hometown of Danville, Kentucky. Um, so grab that. Also, here's a vocal group for you, Truth, Changing Directions. Um, and... That is on uh, Mighty Miracle Music. Check out that. I have no idea who Marietta is, but uh, I did recognize that it's on uh, Impact Records, which is, uh, I believe, owned by Benson. All right, so this is kind of the country portion of it. First one. All American Red Deck by uh, Randy Howard. And um, yeah, this is one of those where how can you pass up an album called All American Red Deck? Maybe he's the guy who started this whole trend of singing country songs about how country you are, because that's kind of what this song is, except he's talking about another dude. Uh, does drop a f bomb in there, which kind of surprised me when I look listened to a clip on uh, YouTube. Um, this one's interesting. C W McCall, man, I hope this uh, plays. This is uh, Black Bear Roads. This has got the uh, famous song uh, "Convoy" on it, and uh, and you know my dad was a truck driver. A professional truck driver back in the day when that was a big there he is on the back so looking forward to that so I hit the mother load on Mickey Gilly how much Mickey Gilly did I get 
I got uh, Room Full of Roses. I got uh, That's All That Matters to Me. First Class. Let me show you the label on this, though. I guess Mickey Gilly was a Playboy because he's on Playboy Records. Now, is that? Was that and it looks like the Playboy logo? So, did they have an actual record label? Have no idea. Put your dreams away, Mickey Gilly. You don't know me, Mickey Gilly. Well, after all these albums, we all know you a little bit, huh, buddy? He's flying high. Looks like he's uh, wearing his evil Knievel suit. So there you go. There's a whole bunch of Mickey Gilly. I got a couple Mel Tillis albums. First one is Your Body is an Outlaw. And that's just a story I need to hear. So I hope he tells it well. There you go. Mel, Mel Tillis and the State Siders. And then we got Mel Tillis Greatest Hits. So we got some Charlie Rich. Uh, greatest Hits, got a Marty Robbins album called The Performer, good pictures of him on front and back, such an interesting cat. Got some Crystal Gale, this one is When I Dream. Then we've got Straight to the Heart, and we've got Crystal Gale, Nobody Wants to Be Alone. Uh, there are a lot of spots on that record, but I figure if the final's good, I can probably pick up another copy of that with a more pristine cover, maybe do some Frankensteining. Picked up this, Roy Clark's family album. The uh, cover's not the greatest shape, but the music on this, because I have a good copy of this, I got this to give to a friend. Uh, music on this is outstanding. That's Roy Clark's uh, family album. Got Forrester Sisters. Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin Band, Help Yourself. Got some Oak Ridge Boys, Room Service. The Concrete Cowboy Band. And I listened to a little of this on YouTube, and I think it's mainly a band doing covers. Because there's like uh, Orange Blossom Special. And thank God I'm a country gal on this album. Sons of the Pioneers, Tumbleweed Trails. And I'm going to show you the label on this one. I thought it was kind of interesting. That's a MCA label and just different kind of color scheme. On the Move. Not sure how country this is, except for Glenn Campbell, but we also have Dion Warwick and Burt Backrack. And we got some cars on the back. Uh, there you go, Eric Weinbender. And it's a Chevrolet album. Check out that centering. Got a soundtrack, How the West Was One. Don't know why I didn't put this in with the other soundtracks. Except that it looked Western. And this is Country and Western, maybe. MGM. Sealed. I got a compilation. I Will Sing. And uh, it's got some great people on it. Tammy Wynette, Lynn Anderson, Johnny Cash, Barbara Mandrell, George Jones, Charlie Rich. Tanya Tucker, Boy Clark, Ray Price. Lots of good people. If you're curious, I, of course, my favorite artist is Johnny Cash. He's on here with uh, some lady named Rosie Nix singing Father and Daughter. But, uh, yeah, this is Columbia House. Sealed. Won't be for much longer. Now we have a couple of Barbara Streisand soundtracks. First one is On a Clear Day. You Can See Forever. And we've got the main event. A glove story. That's a Melissa Manchester. Melissa. Some Neil Diamond. 
Moods. And Natalie Cole, I love you so. I thought the next two were really interesting. They are, they look like they're radio recordings. When radio was king, the first one is the Bing Crosby show. And this has got Louis Armstrong and Rose Marie on it. The second one is, sounds like it's a telling of Pinocchio. The next albums are more in a classical symphonic category, I guess. I don't know. I tried to make an order that made some sense. We got uh, Pavarotti. Uh, songs the whole world loves. We've got Virgil Fox's greatest hits. Hey, it's time for some baseball. We've got great orchestras of the world. Man, those are some crazy socks. Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops. This is opera's greatest hits. And we've got Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops Orchestra salute to a tower. And this looks like the Allied Greenleaf. I have no idea. It is a gatefold. I guess I'll have to read that and find out what kind of tower we're talking about. When you're paying 10 cents a record, sometimes you can just go ahead and pick up two copies and take your chances. And that's Roy Hamilton. You'll never walk alone. I listened a little bit. It's more like uh, standards. He's Sounds like kind of a classically trained uh, vocalist doing standards with the orchestra behind him. Couldn't find any samples of this. This is Don Sebesky, Moving Lines. Uh, what I could find on him makes it sound like this could be jazz, maybe even some fusion. But with the being uh, in the Contemporary Arrangers Workshop, I just don't know. Is this orchestra? have no idea. I have heard of this next group. Here's looking at your value vinyl, Steve. The exciting pianos of Ferrante and Teicher. Then I picked up uh, this one, Pete Kelly's Blues. Love that cover. Next is the uh, Natural Gas Jazz Band. And with a name like that, you can't leave it. Now... We got some out hurt. That isn't all. I got this is Al Hurt Volume 2. This is a gatefold, but it opens a little funny. There you go. There's Al. Also got uh, Pete Fountain in Al Hurt, Bourbon Street. That could uh that could be really cool. I haven't seen this album before. This is from Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass, Herb Alpert's Ninth. This looks cool. And this next album I almost put in the country section, but I noticed uh, she sang with the Maha Vishnu Orchestra. And this is uh, Gail Moran, I Love You, I Loved You When. And uh, that is jazz. But tell me that doesn't look country at first glance. And then finally, we got Tommy Yetta. This is the jazz corner of the world. That's a really cool cover as well. I picked up some Chuck Mangione. Feels so good. I know he had a monster hit. And I don't know if this is the record with it. I should have looked it up, but I was looking up other records and didn't get around to it. I also picked up this. This is uh, Chuck Mangione, Children of Sanchez. It's from a film. Good picture of them on the back. And this slides out. It's a two-record set. 
on A&M. Another good picture of them there. Um, oh, wow, look at this. This is the gatefold. And, uh, but yeah, so I grabbed it. This next one may be a real find. It's Ola Alali. This is Peggy Lee. And um, may turn out to be a real winner. The last couple of albums are pretty straightforward pop rock. Got the uh, Michael Stanley Band. Uh, couldn't find any real samples of this, but what I did hear from this band, they're pretty straightforward rock. The Kiki D Band. I've got the music in me. Wow, what a hit that was. And then finally sealed, Miles and Lenny. Uh, it isn't the same. Couldn't find any many sound samples on this either. But you know, when I'm paying less than 10 cents a record, I'll take a chance. And that's 67 records or 66 records or what have you. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we're glad you stopped in and hope you'll come back. Until next time, peace.